Welcome to Minecraft Dungeons. My name is Mike B. We're gonna take a look at this game. We're gonna do a quick playthrough and a quick overview of this relatively fantastic little ARPG that you would, on the surface, think, you know what? This is a baby's first ARPG because Minecraft is colorful and it's all fluffy and shit. And then you get in, you play, and then you start cranking up that difficulty level, and the game just shits all over your face, and you're just like, whoa, hold up. <laughs> and that has happened to me. That has happened to me now a number of times. Uh, on stream, of course, of course, in front of my peers. Let's go ahead and get in here and take a look at your starting area uh, after you complete the tutorial, of course. And then I'll take you guys through just a random map so you guys can see uh, the full extent of a single run. I'm going to actually lower the difficulty level just a smidge so that way it doesn't take an hour to get through a chapter uh, because I'm constantly dying or constantly dodging or hiding behind things to get some health and all that. <laughs> so we'll try to make it relatively easier just a little bit uh, so first thing let's go ahead and take this is the camp here you got the blacksmith over here uh do i have money for this let me see i do actually okay so blacksmith they basically sell loot boxes surprise mechanic boxes that cost in-game money not real main real uh money currency and then oh snap oh snap hold on a second uh hold on a second i think this is actually really good oh my god yeah this is really good <laughs> okay all right so Listen, we're already in here now, and this is really good. It's much better than what I currently have, but I'm going to go ahead and take this out because this requires a completely different synergistic build. So let's talk about that, okay? So you do have just your standard pieces of gear, right? Your basic pieces of gear, sorry. You have melee, you have armor, and then you have ranged. And down here you have artifacts. You can trigger these things. Some of them are you know, speed boosts like this one. This one will enhance your arrows, or actually add arrows that uh, these ones flame. Uh, these ones flame? These ones are on fire. <laughs> and uh, these ones will make your shots explode. Combine them together with a bow that or crossbow that has a few enchantments that allow it to every third shot to have an exploding uh, arrow and also have multi shot. So basically every 40% so chance, which is basically every other shot. Uh, I'm going to fire multiple shots and or sorry, extra shots on top of already being multiple shots uh, and it's also going to explode. So what does that mean? That means basically every shot with this thing pretty much explodes. And now that I want to demonstrate that for you, it's totally not going to happen. So let's see. Son of a bitch. There it is. Okay. All right. Now you believe me, right? So, <laughs> and then we go and load this up and then we can load this up here and then fire again. And okay, we get a fireworks show. Look at that. Third precinct. And then we go up here, take a look at, let me see. Uh, see this, 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 they have cooldowns, of course. And uh, then you have your armor, uh, going back to the enchantments here. So the enchantments are randomized per piece of uh, per piece of armor or, or weapon, uh, and the lower the tier is, the fewer slots you get for enchantments. And by slots, I mean like you basically have. If you look over here, you got my mouse out here. Yeah, one, two, and three. Uh, if you look right here, uh, this one is highlighted because that's the one that I selected out of the group. If you look over here at this one here, I've not selected anything. Whoops, I swapped that out completely. Where did I put it? Da, 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 da. Which one was it? Oh man, uh, it was this one? Okay. Go back to that. Let me see. So this one, okay, it actually was a different one. I have so many pieces of gear because I've been running but not going through my gear set. So it's going to be just complete mess in there. Sorry about that. Uh, let's see, looking at the enchantments for this one, I have to choose and commit to one of these and then it will lock that particular item. So I say, uh, let's see, what was that one actually? Hold on a second. Uh, cooldown, reduce cooldown between uses of artifacts. So with this one, uh, ro rolling leaves a trail of fire behind you. Oh, interesting. So let's say I go ahead and choose this one. I commit a, an, an enchant point to this. I get enchant points by leveling up. You can see I'm 27, so I have 27 enchant points maybe give or take or something uh, but now I've unlocked I committed one to this piece of gear so now every time I roll I leave a little trail of fire behind that's kind of awesome actually unfortunately though we have to let it go because I want to demonstrate to you that once you commit things to this you cannot undo it the only way to get that point back is to salvage the piece of gear I get a little bit of coin and I get my enchant point back upper left corner there uh, now that's gone that was actually a pretty good piece of gear but it's okay you get so much gear in this game as you can see uh, it's not gonna take long to find something else that's better or in my case I found something that was amazing with uh, this doo -doo -doo, with this crossbow here uh, right over up th th there right there it is God, this thing is so good oh my god souls critical boost like this, this, there's so many things I haven't even gone through the perks yet let me see wandering trader this is where you get artifacts basically spend a little bit of coin uh, Ironhide Amulet. I haven't seen this one before. I was saying both. Uh, but that, that, that description never tells you anything. It's the flavor text. Let me go back to the actual item here. 
Uh, 9.2 seconds duration, 25 second cooldown to provide a major boost to defense for a short period of time. Oh, cool. Okay, so it's uh, like shield wall or something. I like that. Uh, now, speaking of shield wall, you can be a relatively tanky warrior type. Uh, you can be a fury warrior type. You can be uh, kind of like a combat rogue, I would say. And I'm going to use wild terms here because I know a lot of you guys play wild. Come on. Uh, you can also be a bit of a warlock with the soul gathering thing. So let's say if I have like a few artifacts here that all spend souls. You can see in the upper right corner of that icon. Here it tells you about the souls. Uh, you could build kind of this synergistic collection of gear where you're spend you're earning souls by killing things and then you're spending it on a special power powers or bonuses or like in this case I could have these uh, these these special arrows that will knock back enemies and that's actually I haven't even tried that with my multi shot arrow. Let's put that on real quick. Burning arrows just makes you burn. Okay, you guys got the gist there. Let me see. What else do I want to go with? You could change gear out in the middle of a fu uh, middle of a uh, of a run. By the way, you don't have to like, do all this stuff. Uh, why don't we go ahead and get a llama? Of course, of course, some llamas here. Uh, I don't have anything that actually farms up any souls. Hmm. Actually, I think I believe you farm up souls even if you don't have something that farms the souls. The item itself will actually give you a boost to the number of souls you get per kill. So, for example, this one here, I get plus two soul gathering. Interesting. Yeah. It's gonna take a lot of sitting down, like you basically a lot of time sitting down and going through some of that gear and really figuring out something that's like kind of synergistic. There's already people that are going through and nitpicking things, they're trying to min-max certain things, and they're treating this like they would treat any other, like, I guess, quote-unquote, serious ARPG, because that element is there. There are good roles. There are great, co you know, gear combinations to create these these awesome class synergies. So that stuff does exist, which is why I'm so surprised. I'm, I'm still so surprised that this game is as good as it is for free if you have Game Pass, if you have Game Pass, or uh, $20 uh, for the base game. And there's some DLC coming later on with this island thing over here. I have no idea what it's about. Uh, but yeah, it's it's just, it seems like a slamming deal for that. And if you have kids, like if you have a kid that's like between the age of, I don't know, like five and uh, I guess 10, I don't know what, what age they start ignoring you. Declan still pays attention to me, so I'm guessing we're still good at seven, okay? Uh, then it's a no brainer. It really truly is. It's baby's first ARPG for them because you can lower the skill level, but you, you're God Emperor POE guy, right? So you could go in there and show them the ropes and then you get them to grind your character up, right? This is how this works. So let's go ahead and go into Creeper Woods here. Oh, I don't like Creeper Woods, but I'll go with anyways. Uh, bottom right corner, you can see it says Adventure. Hit the Y button there, you can see that uh, we're going to switch to default for this because I'm still actually a little under-leveled for, for uh, the Adventure difficulty. Uh, default, Adventure, and Apocalypse. You have to basically beat the game twice or unlock the last one. This is similar to how I think a Diablo 3 unlocking Torment levels was at the time. It's been a long time for that one, but... Uh, so we're going to switch, back, switch it back to... Default. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see right here, this little icon here represents my power. So that's telling me your power level puts you right here. It's because I have some pieces of gear that are still relatively low, so it doesn't really want to push me up into the harder difficulty levels. If I put on some better things, if I, if I sat here for like another hour and gone through and tested like and did some DPS tests, because in the camp there's a couple of uh, dummies you can test on, did some DPS tests and figured out like which was the best build for blank, uh, then yeah, I could probably up that a lot by using better gear. But right now I'm comfortable with this stuff, especially comfortable enough to show you guys and and we could go from there. Um, but I'm going to bump it down like one. There you go. So, let's go. <laughs> I don't know how, how much easier this is going to be, actually. But it should be it should be easy enough. That's what we'll say. Uh, multiplayer on this is pretty great. It basically plays like you would expect. Just, oh, no, no, no. No spoilers. It basically plays like you would expect. You basically have four characters running around just wreaking havoc all over the place. But, but you could res your buddy. Uh, basically, in... in uh, I can't, like no matter how long they're I'm sorry no matter how many times they die but there's a timer that will start to damage other characters if you remain dead for too long or something like that uh, I'm not entirely sure I've only done one run in multiplayer for reasons because I assumed that it was gonna be a bunch of kids running around just aimlessly not doing anything or following the objectives or anything so I just played one match with shrimp paycheck from the community uh, and that went great I was lost was completely lost I'm not gonna lie <laughs> <laughs> we found a crypt and we started running around in it and gets like tons of gold and I was like what the hell is this? I spawned in when they were in the crypt and I had no idea what was like what is this level? There's nothing but just gold everywhere. Did we find the cow level? What's happening? So you can see you have your standard characters that you've got, you've got in Minecraft. Oh gosh, this is a, uh, an elite. Yes, you have elites just like you have in uh, in every other ARPG. It's kind of awesome. They have special abilities just like you'd experience in others. Uh, you have TNT here. The way that works, you can basically hit the uh, the arrow button or the uh, you know the range button to throw that, and it explodes. It shows you the blast area for before it uh, triggers. Of course, do I still have that? No, that's right. I grinded that thing up. Uh, da, da, da. I gotta start using my llama a bit more. Jeez, guys. So here we go. That's my. Oh my god, that's amazing. Oh my god. 
<laughs> wow. So what I just did was I activated my ability down here. This is the um, the artifact that uh, enhances my arrows, or actually adds arrows to my quiver because they don't you consume arrows. You should note that. Uh, that have a pushback, but it inherits the effect of my arrows, or uh, of how my arrows shoot. So when I shoot it, I get multiple shots. That's awesome. Okay, now we have another elite. You can see at the top there it shows what their, uh, what their, what their, I guess their perks are. <laughs> Activate it again. God, this is just, this is so valuable. It's, I can't, I'm, I'm not even lying. This is such a valuable ability here. Being able to CC with multiple shots, and do they also explode? I don't even know. No, they wouldn't because it's a different arrow. But still, just amazing. Multi-shot. So good. With everything, basically. Look at this. Get on my face. Tidal wave. <laughs> oh, those are traps. Wait, hold on a second. I thought they were traps. I've seen those things fall out before. Hmm. Uh, okay, that's a trap. Yeah, so we're going to be careful with this one. <laughs> I'm a little upset because sometimes it makes a sound that's hilarious. It's like, <laughs> and it's just the fucking best. <laughs> I laugh every time. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, never mind. I was going to say, I think this is a mini boss, but he died. <laughs> Super fast. I need a golden key. All right. Keys. Let's see. I'm just, I'm way too powerful for this. Let me tell you, I, I would not just be just, just cleaving these things if it was in the next difficulty level up. I'm getting so many arrows. This guy's still alive. Get on my face. Okay, that was a trap as well. Should probably be careful. Okay. <laughs> I don't trust anything. Oh, uh, okay. I've, I've done this. I've done this tile before. Uh, see, some of the map is procedurally generated, right? But it's tile-based. Similar to Warframe. Wait. Hold up. Oh, oh God, dang it. Killed him. Well, you should know that the uh, traps also affect the enemies. So, you could just lure them in if you'd like. Like this guy. Hey, come on over. Come on over. Stay right there. No, a little closer. Perfect. Uh, sure, why not? Why not? One more. One more. One more. We can do that. Uh, oh, 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 stay there. No. God, it's so good. Oh, hold on. Whoa, God, that was close. Llama. Watch this. Teleport. Oh. But, but, I told my llama to teleport over here, and there he is. Okay, I also lost my, my key in the process here. Whoops. <laughs> Dang it. Ah, okay. The key uh, hitched a riot on the... <laughs> There's Skelly there, so we're good. Uh, Llama come back. He's falling through the floor. That's hilarious. <laughs> there have been a few quirks. It's definitely not the the most. The, this I want. I want to say. I don't want to say that this is the uh, very bug. It's not a very buggy uh, uh, build, but it's not you know like super polished. There's definitely a little quirks here and there. So this path will probably take me to another like area with like a small like, alcove or something like that. We can find a cave in in, in uh, Poe or Diablo that just has like some treasure or something like that. We're not gonna explore that for the sake of time. I want to get through to the boss of this level, which I don't remember exactly what it is, but I'm fairly certain I shouldn't have a problem with them. Knock on wood. Oh, she use my boots more often, duh. Uh, perfect opportunity to use this. Oh, oh, I don't have souls. Push him off the edge. Push him off the edge. Oh, he died. Oh, oh, loot pig. Loot pig. Beautiful. And we got some thief armor. Oh, actually, that might be kind of interesting. Let me see. Uh, nope, it's not. Enderman time. Get some souls. Oh, dang. Oh, did that work? Did I actually push him off the edge? Oh, that's hilarious. That actually worked. <laughs> Usually that fight takes a second because he's teleporting all over the place. You get one hit, he teleports again, and so on and so forth. Ding! Nice. Now you see I have an enchantment point. I can go and spend on something if I would like. Which I have two, actually, so I could put a couple points in something. We should probably do that just for the sake of of uh, demonstration. So let me see. I have two points. Uh, this thing's pretty much all maxed out, actually. And this one is also maxed out. Uh, this is not. So let's see what we can get with this. And then let me see. Uh, when you are at full HP, which never happens, so we'll skip that. Uh, for every 100 blocks exploded on the map, you regain. Wait, oh, I'm sorry. Explored on the map, you regain a small amount of health. Well, I don't feel like I'm too powerful already. Being hit by damage and inflicting arrows will occasionally craft a small quiver of arrows. Yeah, actually. I'll do that. Every 30th projectile. Sure, that'll totally trigger <laughs> often. <laughs> Let's see. There's nothing else I can spend it on, so. Here we go. Nope. Of course, it's going to spawn like, like far away or something, right? There we go. Put that pushback on there. This thing. Put some pork there. Sweet. Little consumables will drop here and there. And, uh, you know, they're just pretty. Oh, what is this? I've never seen this. Wait, have I seen this? 
I've not. I have something similar. No, I don't. Never mind. So what is this then? Uh, 96 plus, uh, Oh, I have seen this. Yeah, 3% lifesteal aura. Damn, that's pretty awesome. It's technically less power level than uh, than the one I'm currently wearing, but plus 100% souls gathered gathered is pretty good. Let's um let's swap it out just for the sake of. Uh, Wait, hold on a second. No, no, no. Never mind. Because this one that I'm wearing has a 15% move speed aura, and that's very, very valuable. Because I don't like to walk. <laughs> There's nothing to see there with it. Just gives me more souls. Far more souls. More faster. That's it. And uh, apparently I don't need that. Just racking up souls up and right. As long as I keep my arrow count up. Wait, I should be able to deal with the other perk, right? Have I seen any arrows yet from this nonsense? Whoa, it was close. I'm glad I showed you guys this map actually because not every level has a bunch of interactive world items where you have traps and all that stuff. Uh, I would say probably less than maybe a quarter of the available maps have that. And actually, that open. Nope. Oh, hold on a second. Yes, yes, yes. That's the main bad guy, by the way. He shows up to give you a hard time from time to time. Watch out, there's traps everywhere now. This guy's not going to be that difficult to deal with. It's gonna be the traps are gonna end up killing me if I'm not careful. Forget that they're there. This one we're oh never mind. Oh llama no! My llama! There we go. I'm a little low on health, but I'll be alright. Uh will I though? Hold on. Oh boy. I should just lure these guys over here and dump them in the damn drink, man. But it's too easy just to just kill them. Oh god, try to get over there. Hold on. There we go. So supplies. Actually, I should hurry up because I have uh, I have a uh, strength. In oh boy, I saw that switch at the very last second. So many switches. Let's switch, switch. Let's do it again, 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 again. Yeah. Got all these damn souls going. Click them up. Click them up. This is a lot of traps, man. This is crazy. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. Jesus. Oh, God. It's all triggered behind me. Uh, am I going the right way? So oh, God, that one is... Nope. Fuck. Jesus Christ. It's weird when they trigger behind you. <laughs> like, that's definitely a, uh, a pathing, pathing issue where they probably should have had me come in from the other direction with that particular tile. But, uh, but you know, I'll take it. Gonna keep me on my toes, I guess. Ooh. It's funny, every once in a while you come across a tile you haven't seen yet, and you're just kind of like, oh, that's an interesting tile. Reminds me of the early days of Warframe, going through that same damn ship <laughs> over and over again. And they finally add like two more tiles, and you start scouring, scouring the moons of Jupiter or something, whatever. <laughs> just looking for, looking for some of these new tiles. I can't remember if we even had a, a, a galaxy map at the time. I don't think that came, that was even out at the initial release. It's been so long. Oh crap. Now, speaking of content. <laughs> so, the, one of the issues that people have with this game is that uh, there's not enough content. You can beat the game probably about three hours on easy mode, I'm fairly certain, right? Uh, as you'll see with this run, this run's probably gonna take about 20 minutes or so. And there's about, I think, seven chapters or something. Maybe give or take one, I can't remember exactly. But either way, you're looking at about three hours and all that. And that's pretty much it on easy mode. Uh, yes, if you play a game on easy mode, you will beat it faster. Yes, of course, that, that totally makes sense. Uh, but if you ramp up the difficulty, it will take you mm, maybe like six hours or so. And then you're not even done yet. There's 18 difficulty levels in this. It, oh, I forgot I had a TNT. Oops. And I get, oh, I got one guy. Okay, cool. I was like, I get no one. But there are 18 difficulties in this damn thing. And it is, uh, and I'm, I'm on I'm on right now five, difficulty level five. The, hi the highest one I've gotten to, I think, is seven, where I've, uh, the highest one I've attempted, I should say. Well, I should say relatively successfully attempted because, yes, I tried the tier six, or sorry, tier 12, uh, which is basically, um, uh, the second adventure mode or whatever is the second chapter, or whatever they call it, uh, New Game Plus, <laughs> uh, chapter uh, tier six or whatever. It'd be easier if it was just called Torments, really. There should be a standardized difficulty level thing so we could all discuss them across different ARPGs. There's just so many between PoE and Grim Dawn and Torchlight and Diablo 3. Where am I at here? Let's use the damn boots. Keep forgetting. Load up some arrows because I have the souls to spend.
You know what I should do? I should load up another artifact that spends souls so you guys can see what the other ones do. This one looks pretty cool visually, even though it's I wouldn't really call it the best one. Uh, and this one, well, this one just makes an AOE, like a, like arcane explosion of sorts. And that's about it. So let me see. Do, do, do. Yeah, there's there's quite a few artifacts. Uh, and by quite a few, I think I probably like 20 or so. Or, sorry, probably more than that, actually. Probably more like 30, about 30 artifacts, I think. Uh, but they're supposed but the they're supposed to be, they get stronger and stronger as you level up, of course. And then, you know, you get, I think, probably new ones that maybe I haven't seen yet uh, later on. This might be very reminiscent of the first chapter of, uh, of Diablo 3, actually. A king. Here we go. I'm a Rosas, dude. It's gonna be so bad. Okay, maybe not actually. I lied, I lied, I lied. I lied. So that was the other soul ability that I was telling you about. God, I'm almost dead. <laughs> We're gonna re-record this whole thing just because of this. Oh no. <laughs> I gotta play wisely. Let's grab the swiftest potion. What's he doing? I forgot what this attack is. Whoa. Awesome. Perfect for those arrows. Look at that. Oh, he's got a couple of clones here. Nameless one. Oh, oh, dang. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Man, see, I talk, I talk that smack. Where am I going? Talking that smack. Thankfully, you picked right up where you left off. Boss is kind of chilling here waiting for you. Hold on. Is he going to do What's What moves are he going to do? Okay, I'm like all worried now. <laughs> I can't lose again in front of my friends, come on! Oh! Hold on, there, oh! There's multiples. There went my potion. Okay, and then gonna roll out of this one. Shoot and roll. Okay, oh damn. I was gonna use my arrows. I was waiting for that circle. Let's get some more arrows here. I can load up. Oh, thank god they gave me more space that time. Thank you. Thank you, oh lenient, <laughs> oh lenient and benevolent king. There it is. There it is. First time. Second time. All right. New event door opened. That's right over here. We're we'll going to work our way to the end. Push these guys out of our way. We got stuff to do. A couple last minute enemies just to give you a hard time after you finish a very difficult boss. Super polite of them. Okay, I get this thing thrown up. Can I throw this thing upstairs? Let's see. Huh. Nope. Nope. Get back in there. <laughs> I can shoot that upstairs. Spider chucking shit at me. Come on now. Come on now, son. There we go. Look at that. God, it's the best. I'm so glad we found that combination. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is the third time recording this playthrough. <laughs> this is my third time playing this game for this uh, for this for this walkthrough here. Because the first two times I was like, God, man, that sucked. That was the crappiest run. The first time was just kind of like, you know, awkward. You get done, you're kind of like, I could have done better, you know? Don't listen to this part, guys. Once Spoilers again, are shh. God, oh, shut, lady, shut up. Alexa, stop. There you go. So that's how you complete one of these things. Right here's this projectile, say 80%. Chest open, 33%. Damage taken, 1,080 damage dealt. There we go. Let's see what we have in here. I already have one of these. All right, those this things actually pretty awesome. Every time you use your potion, you get a you get a uh, uh, you get a shield, right? Is that what this one is? Let me see. I uh, see mystical power. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it's, this is a dome. It's a dome. Basically, you drop it down, and it will just go boop like that. Yeah, Winston. Pretty much the same thing, actually. Uh, but that's pretty much it, dudes. Like that is Minecraft Dungeons. Uh, it is very fun. It's cheap or you know basically free if you have Game Pass. Oh, it's kind of free or whatever you want. Kind of want to really call it. Uh, it's easy to get online with friends. You just basically pop it open and uh, whoop, okay. Uh, and you could just go through and you could add extra player locally. You could back out and you could connect to a. Let me go to my menu here so you can see this. Uh, it's got a very easy menu. You can connect to you know other people playing. It'll prioritize if you have friends that are playing. Right, so you go online. And it'll show uh, Shrimp Paycheck is actually uh, playing right now, actually. I would join, but uh, but we got to cut this thing off. Uh, but yeah, you could just go through and join up with friends. It's easy peasy. But, but there is no cross-platform play, no cross-platform saves or anything like that. So if you do want to play this with somebody uh, else, like let's say if you want to play with your kid, niece, nephew, whatever, uh, they have to own it on the same platform. I don't know if this is going to change in the future. Uh, I don't know if, uh, I don't know why they did that, considering Minecraft works across the board on everything. So it's really strange. 
strange that that is a thing. Uh, but, you know, like, it's, who knows? I, video game company makes strange decision. <laughs> Headline, wow, oh my god. Uh, so that's it, guys. My name is Mike B, aka Phony. This is Minecraft Legends. Thank you so much for watching. I'm actually really looking forward to playing this with Declan. He's looking forward to playing it uh, this weekend, and uh, it'll be fun. So that's it. Uh, pretty good ARPG. Yep. Have a good one. See ya.